Let's look at a typical CVD setup. First, we need a supply of reactant gases. In some instances, they may be in liquid form, which need to be vaporized. These gas and vapor sources are represented here by gas cylinders and a liquid storage tank. From here, the gas and liquid is fed into the gas supply cabinet, which regulates the gases as well as heats and vaporizes the liquid. The reactant gases are then fed into the CVD reactor. Inside the CVD reactor is the reaction chamber and a heat source surrounding the reaction chamber. The heat source can be resistance, induction, UV, plasma, microwave or laser. A control system, Programmable Logic Controller or PLC for short, controls both the gas supply and the CVD reactor. It also acts as a safety system. The waste gases from the CVD process are normally drawn out using a series of pumps, which also reduce the reaction chamber pressure to that required for the process. From here, the waste gases are fed into a scrubber, which scrubs effluent gases clean and neutralizes acid gases. Often, the last pump is a liquid ring pump, LRP for short. This pump does two jobs. It draws out the waste gases and feeds them into the scrubber. And it also draws in the neutralizing fluids from the scrubber and thoroughly mixes them with the waste gas, further helping to treat these gases. Finally, we have the PC, which is used to input process conditions, monitors the system, carries out data logging and allows remote viewing of the process.